If I'm not mistaken, I think Happy Gilmore is the first Adam Sandler film I saw. And if I remember rightly, I saw it at school on one of those days where there's nothing to do, so they put on a DVD. Must have been quite young at the time. Um, the film was released in 1996. I definitely wasn't that young. Um, the director is Dennis Duggan and it's written by Sandler and also Tim Hurley. And it stars alongside Sandler, Christopher McDonald and Julie Bowen. Now, what's really interesting is that this has a mixed reception just in general, but also on IMDb. So the overall score on IMDb is 7 out of 10, which is an exceptionally good score, especially for a, a general comedy film, nothing that's particularly highbrow. But it has a meta score of 31, which is very low. So it's kind of got a mixed reception, I guess, depending on who you ask and where you go for information. Personally, I've seen it several times and I enjoy it. I don't think I'd enjoy it now because my style, um, my interest in comedy has changed a lot. I prefer a lot more wit humour and also dry humour and dark comedy as opposed to kind of visual humour, um, which this very much is. You know, it's an Adam Sandler film. You get what you would expect from Sandler with this. But I think for the right person and my younger self, it's very entertaining. Now, the, the narrative itself didn't really bother me. and This is as follows. A rejected hockey player puts his skills to the golf course to save his grandmother's house. It's a very vague narrative. To be honest, there, there isn't really much else to it. Needless to say, he's not the best golf player. Hockey and golf have very different tactics. I'm not the biggest fan of sports-based films. Now, you could argue that this is not exactly a sports-based film because there's a lot so I was say there's a lot more to it. There are other locations. It's not just all on the golfing green. But obviously there's a lot of sport in it and me not really caring about any sports apart from maybe baseball. Never really took to that aspect to it. And I just wasn't really that interested in whether or not Happy Gilmore, played by Adam Sandler, would be successful and if he'd be able to save his grandmother's house which sounds really callous of me I just was never emotionally invested in the narrative itself I think I just really liked Sandler's performance I liked his comedy style at the time I I, I still will always watch everything Sandler does but his humour is just too silly and juvenile for me nowadays which is fine if you like that if you enjoy that as a guilty pleasure or if you're the target audience but for me it just doesn't really move me now so I can kind of understand why this film has a split rating and why it's kind of well received by some and not by others personally I think it's good I think it's shot very well we have some great locations the set designs are brilliant um the, the golf course and the you know the camera angles the directing on the golf course I think works very well you know when you've got that much open space you could do a lot of close-ups you could do too many um wide shots I think they get the the balance just right so there's nothing fundamentally bad about this film there's nothing about it that i think could have been done differently as such i think it's just all down to per per personal preference and whether or not this is your kind of film now it was nominated for th four awards it was nominated oh, five awards i do apologize it was nominated for the kids choice award it didn't win nominated for two mtv awards um, best Comedic Performance and Best Fight. It did win Best Fight. But it was also nominated for the Razzie for Worst Actor. And um, although that was apparently for the film Bulletproof. So I'm not really sure what they're going on about there. Um, but also for the Stinker's Bad Movie Awards. Um, so yeah, definitely a very up and down film. I'd love to know which side you're on. I feel like this film's like Marmite. You would love it or you hate it. I ironically, I'm kind of in the middle now. But I used to really enjoy it, and it's a film that I think, if I watch it, there'll be a nostalgic element, it'll remind me of my school days. But if I were to watch it now for the first time, I don't think it would sit well with me. So, would I recommend it? Yes, I think it's a film you have to watch and make up your own mind about, because there is such a division of opinion. But I would love to know which side you're on, or, you know, if you're in the middle, like me. Personally, it's a decent film, not the best film. One that I've kind of outgrown, but it does have that nostalgic quality for me now.